Hi everyone, Richard here. I recently stumbled upon this amazing GitHub project that involves synchronizing uh, a calendar feed uh, with Google Calendar. So that in this GitHub project, um, all of the code is essentially provided here. It's amazing. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I was able to turn this into a web app with very little modification and use this to connect our school's uh, student information system calendar to, to Google Calendar. So what you would do with that is then make it easy for students and teachers to get their class schedules onto their primary Google Calendar, um, which is often difficult considering that there's multiple cycles and it things don't repeat on, on a consistent basis. But this is a great way to sort of quickly get schedules onto Google Calendar. And I'll just demonstrate what this is gonna look like. So I'm in a, a demo account here for, uh, this is Teacher One. You can see there's there's nothing in the calendar here right now to close out the year. But what the beauty of the script is you can set it to only create uh, future events and sync future events. So um, I go to the the web app itself and this is just a Google drawing kind of giving instructions to faculty on where they would locate their web cal feed because that's really the only piece of data that's needed to do this. So uh, faculty would click on calendar. This is a the, the Blackboard on campus uh, learning uh, SIS. So you would click on calendar and then the next step would be to click on the feeds which is that icon right here and that opens a window for all of the individual calendar feeds so you would click on individual feeds and that'll reveal sort of the schedule and if you right click on the schedule you can copy that link address so i've copied one of those addresses uh, right now into my clipboard i'm just going to paste it in here so when i submit this um, it's going to then sync my google calendar with this webcal feed and then every 15 minutes um, it can kind of auto resync, which is really cool. So it kind of keeps it up to date. The only downside to that is that if you happen to modify one of those events on your Google Calendar, it will be overridden uh, the next time uh, it syncs. So I'm, I'm still debating about if I just want to run it the entire time all the way through once, or if living with the resyncing is actually more beneficial uh, to me. But so I click submit, um, and I add some little some instructions down here at the bottom. But when I click submit, it says syncing your calendar. Congratulations, you have synced your on-campus schedule with Google Calendar. Soon your schedule will appear on Google Calendar. So um, uh, it usually doesn't take too long, but I'm going to park over here on my calendar and just kind of refresh periodically. Um, and here you go. So you can see the events are starting to, to come in to our calendar. I cut out some of the wait time earlier because there was a bit of a gap in there just for the purposes of this video, but they do, they do come in. Um, and there we go. June 10th was the last day uh, for this school year, but notice how it it brings in all of the all-day events, the letter days, the teaching schedules. Um, these actually aren't duplicates because there's a, it's a higher level and a standard level class. That's why there's two blocks here. But um, we all know that they meet at the same time. So that's just a quirk of our of our school. But that's what I wanted to share. So um, if you have a a learning management system that offers up sort of webcal feeds. Um, you can get those into Google Calendar uh, with a tool like this. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and definitely check out the, the project on, on GitHub because this is pretty amazing work. Thanks for watching.